Welcome to this shed door building video. Here you will learn the steps to building a double door and installing it on your storage shed. This door design uses a sandwich construction, which makes the door stronger to help it hang straight and give you years of service. You will be building two separate doors that are slightly different in size. The main door overlaps the secondary door. The secondary door is held closed by bolt or spring latches inside the shed. Remember to always use exterior polymer coated flathead screws for all attachments. We will build the secondary door first. After cutting out the back panels, internal wood rails, and front panels, the first step is to attach the back panel to the door rails. Start by setting the rails on a flat surface, following the layout pattern shown on the door plans. Set the back panel on the rails and make the outer edges of the rails flush with the edge of the panel. Screw the panel to the rails using a 1 and 5 8 inch screw at 12 inches on center. The second step is to attach the front panel to the rail and back panel assembly you just made. Start by flipping the door over and setting the front panel on it. Use a tape measure to measure and adjust the front panel until the overhang is 1 and a quarter inches on the three sides that will be adjacent to the walls and floor. On the fourth side that is between the two doors, the front panel will be held back one and a quarter inches to show the internal rail. This step takes several adjustments to make sure the overhangs and reveals are all equal. Attach the panel to the rails using one and five eighths inch screws. Install one screw at each rail end and in the center. The trim screws will increase the attachment strength when the trim is installed. Remember that there is a one and a quarter inch reveal, so the screws will need to be at least an inch and a half from the panel edges. Be careful not to install them so far in from the edge that the trim boards will not cover them. The third step is to build the main operable door. It is built similar to the secondary door, except that the front panel overhangs on all sides. This allows it to overlap the secondary door to create a more weather-tight fit and finish. Use the same screw sizes and placements that you did on the other door you made. The main door front panel overhangs are different from the secondary door that you built previously. The three sides that touch the shed walls and floor will have an overhang of one and one quarter inches. The side that touches the secondary door will have an overhang of one and a half inch. After the two doors are made, you should lay them next to each other and verify the overhangs and overall sizes. The fourth step is to attach the door trim pieces. Cut out the trim pieces and check that they will fit together on the front of the doors. Make sure that the screws are located so that they anchor into the door rails behind the siding. Use a screw at each end of each trim piece and then spaced evenly at 12 to 16 inches apart. Any trim pieces in the center of the door panel will need to have their screws angled so that they hit the inner door rail. Install the trim on both doors. You can set the doors next to each other again after the trim is installed and check how they look. After the doors are built, you are ready to complete the fifth step and install the doors on the shed. Prepare the door opening by setting a half inch thick piece of lumber on the door threshold. This will hold the doors off the shed floor the proper distance while you install the door hinges. Set the doors in the door opening, making sure that the inner door rail is resting on the half inch piece of lumber. Now adjust the reveals around the doors by moving the doors side to side until the reveals are equal. There should be a quarter inch reveal on all exterior edges of the doors. Once the reveals are equal, you can install the door hinges. Install 6 inch gate hinges using 3 inch exterior screws. 
Remember that the door rails are one and a quarter inches from the door edges, so you must angle the screws that are not over the door rails so that they hit the door rails. The bolt of the hinges should be centered on the gap between the door and the shed trim. The bolt should also be aligned vertically with the gap. When the hinge bolts are not in line with the door, they cause the door to bind when it is opened. The top and bottom hinges should sit so that their edges just pass over the inside corner of the door trim. This helps ensure that the screws will hit the inner door rail. After the door hinges are installed, you can open the doors to test the fit. It may be tight to get it open because of the half inch board under the door rail. Once it falls out, the door should swing easily. The sixth step is to install the door bolt latches and locking hardware. Install them by closing the secondary door and holding the latches in their install locations. Then, mark on the floor and door header where to drill the hole for the latch pins to go into the floor and door header. When installing your door latch, make sure to use the 2.5 inch exterior screws you use to build the shed doors. This helps better secure the latch to the shed. Continue learning about shed building by clicking on one of these videos. Thanks for watching.